Welcome to the DIY Honda Garage channel. The DTC P1658 indicates a malfunction with the electronic throttle control system, ETCS, control relay, in the 2012 to 2017 Honda Accord. This issue is critical because the ETCS plays a vital role in regulating engine throttle functions, which directly affect vehicle acceleration and overall performance. Located in the underhood fuse relay box, the ETCS control relay is responsible for the operational control of the throttle body, receiving signals from the powertrain control module, PCM, to execute specific commands. A malfunction can lead to poor engine performance, increased emissions, and could potentially render the vehicle unsafe to drive. The initial diagnostic steps involve capturing freeze frame data and an onboard snapshot to obtain invaluable information about the issue. This data provides a snapshot of the vehicle's condition at the time the error code was triggered. Ensuring that comprehensive troubleshooting is based on accurate historical data, preventive maintenance can significantly mitigate the chances of DTC P1658 reoccurring. Conducting regular inspections of electrical components ensures that any wear or potential problems can be identified early. This includes checking for corrosion, dirt, or loose connections, particularly around the ETCS control relay and the PCM, as these can lead to intermittent issues. Keeping electrical connections clean and secure is paramount for reliable functionality. Additionally, Ensuring that the PCM is updated with the latest software can enhance compatibility with the vehicle's systems and improves performance reliability. Taking these preventive measures contributes to longevity and efficient operation of the electronic throttle control system. In conclusion, understanding DTC P1658 and its implications for the Honda Accord is essential for effective troubleshooting and repair. The electronic throttle control system plays a vital role in the engine's performance, and issues related to the control relay must be addressed promptly to avoid potential performance hazards. Following the detailed troubleshooting steps ensures a systematic approach to diagnosing and resolving the error, while thorough testing validates that the issue has been fully rectified. Furthermore, emphasizing regular preventive maintenance maintains system efficacy, ensuring long-term reliability. By grasping the critical nature of this error and conducting diligent follow-ups, vehicle safety and performance can be preserved. The ETCS control relay is crucial for the operation of the electronic throttle control system in the Honda Accord. It modulates engine throttle based on inputs from the driver, particularly during acceleration phases. Located in the underhood fuse and relay box, the relay directly interfaces with the throttle body control and the powertrain control module, PCM. If the relay is malfunctioning, it may not properly send or receive signals to adjust the throttle position potentially leading to major performance issues. The reliable operation of the PCM is also pivotal. It interprets inputs from various sensors to manage the overall vehicle performance effectively. Identifying a malfunction in the ETCS control relay is paramount, as this can cause excessive throttle lag or unintended acceleration, creating a safety hazard. When diagnosing DTC P1658, several potential causes must be examined. An intermittent failure in the relay itself may occur, which can be challenging to identify during standard testing procedures, since the system may appear fine at times. Additionally, poor electrical connections or loose terminals between the ETCS control relay and the PCM can inhibit proper communication and function. Often presenting as variable symptoms, the ETCS relay itself may also simply be faulty, necessitating testing or replacement. It's essential to check each of these components methodically 
to discover hidden faults that may not be immediately obvious. This thorough approach allows technicians to isolate the exact nature of the issue, while ensuring no critical part of the system is overlooked. Symptoms associated with DTC P1658 typically manifest as engine performance issues. Drivers may experience noticeable delays in throttle response, which means when the accelerator is pressed, the vehicle does not accelerate as expected or behaves erratically. Additionally, the vehicle may encounter difficulties maintaining speed, particularly on inclines or during rapid acceleration. Often, warning lights will illuminate on the dashboard. Advising the driver of a malfunction. These symptoms may worsen as the issue continues, leading to overall poor vehicle reliability. Understanding these symptoms is crucial, as they will guide the technician in verifying whether the DTC is indeed the root cause of the experienced issues. In the first troubleshooting step for DTC P1658, the technician must verify the problem clearly. Begin by turning the ignition switch to the on position. In this context, on mode signifies that the electrical systems are powered, but the engine is not necessarily running. Next, use the Honda Diagnostic System, HDS, to select the ETCS test from the inspection menu. During this test, it is essential to check if the relay circuit is functioning correctly. If the result indicates that the circuit is okay, it may suggest an intermittent failure scenario, instructing the technician to examine for loose connections or terminals at both the ETCS control relay and the PCM for further diagnostics. However, if the failure condition is duplicated, it indicates that further investigation is required in step two. The second troubleshooting step involves testing the ETCS control relay itself. Start by turning the ignition switch to the lock position or off mode, ensuring that all electrical power is down to permit safe handling. Remove the ETCS control relay from the underhood fuse relay box where it's located. Carefully inspect the relay's physical condition for any signs of damage or corrosion. Using a multimeter, Test the relay to determine if it functions as intended. If the relay proves to be functional, it is essential to proceed to step three for further diagnostics. Conversely, if the relay fails the test, replacement is necessary, followed by completing the repair verification process to confirm that the new relay resolves the issue. Step three directs focus toward checking the DBW RLY CL wire, which serves as a critical electrical path in the system. Begin by ensuring the ignition is in the lock position or off mode to avoid any accidents or electrical shorts. Subsequently, jump the SCS line with the HDS as a precaution. Next, disconnect the PCM connector A specifically the 51-pin connector keying. At this stage, the technician will check for continuity between the specified test points, which include the DBW RLY CL wire and body ground, while ensuring the ETCS control relay remains disconnected. If continuity exists, this indicates a short circuit in the wire between the PCM and the ETCS control relay necessitating repairs to this wire. If there's no continuity, the DBW RLY CL wire is confirmed functional, directing attention to the fourth troubleshooting step. In the fourth step of troubleshooting, the technician checks the DBW RLY out VBDBW line for potential shorts to power, which could inhibit the relay's function. Start by disconnecting PCM connector C, also a 51-pin connector, which allows access to the specific wire for testing. Turn the ignition to the on position, ensuring that the systems are powered. Using a multimeter, measure the voltage between the designated test points, 
PCM connector C pin number two, yellow green, and body ground. If battery voltage is present, it implies there is a short to power in the DBW RLY out VBDBW wire between the PCM and the ETCS control relay, necessitating appropriate repairs. Should no voltage appear, the wire is considered functional, leading to the next step, which may involve updating the PCM software or substituting it with a known good unit. Final repair verification is a critical stage that ensures all previous repairs yielded the desired outcomes. Start by turning the ignition to the lock position or off mode and carefully reconnect all the connectors that were previously disconnected during troubleshooting. It is crucial to exit the service check mode SCS within the HDS to reset the diagnostic system state. Following this, turn the ignition to the on position again and utilize the HDS to reset the powertrain control module PCM. Performing an idle learn procedure ensures that the PCM can recalibrate itself to adapt to any changes made during repairs. Finally, check for any pending or confirmed DTCs with the HDS. If DTC P1658 is still indicated, return to earlier steps to identify missed issues. This verification process ensures the integrity of the system is restored. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.